Does gear matter? Yes or no? In this video, I will give you the answer. Hi there, I'm Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus visionary and a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. Let's dive into the today's topic. I started to think about this question when I was packing my gear for my bird photography trip up north in Finland a couple of weeks ago. Or actually a week ago, but anyways. Uh, I usually don't use really long lenses. The longest lens that I have is the 40 to 150 mm f2.8 Pro Zoom lens. And I also have the MC14 for that, just for the uh, rare cases where I need a long lens. And that's something that being a professional photographer is. You, you need stuff that you only might use a few times in a year. Okay, you could rent them, but here in Finland the rentings uh, renting thing is not that big, so but we don't really have a very good place for for renting stuff, which which uh, some other bigger countries do have, and that's also a good way if you need something and you want to test it first and then rent it. But as I said, in Finland, it's not that easy to get rental stuff. And I also packed the 300 millimeter f4 to my bag, and then I kind of realized that. Uh, could, have, could I have been making those images that I did on that trip without the 300mm f4? And my answer is actually no. So was the question, does gear matter, already answered right in the beginning of this video? <laughs> well, I think it is. So you just said that you could not take those images without those long lenses. Yeah, I know what I said, Peter. But hold on, I will explain and respond to your answer. Just hold your horses. And before I do respond to Peter's answer, let's look what I actually packed for that trip. Very typical, now he's trying to distract you by showing his gear. I don't know what he's doing. Well, I had the already mentioned 300 millimeter, 40 to 150 millimeter and the MC14. And as bodies, I had the EM1X and one EM1 Mark II. That's for the photography and I also had the 45 just in case, just to have one fast prime with me that has a bit more reach. I could have taken my 75mm, that could have been another option, but I decided to go with the with the 45mm lens. Now about this bag, this is a Peak Design Traveler backpack, 45 liter bag. They have a 65 liter version, but I like the smaller one because this can fit straight into the uh, the, the, what do you call it, the luggage compartment inside an airplane, so this is very good in that. And what I like about this is that it has these uh, so-called camera cubes. Uh, wait a minute, so I can take this out. And it has a handle, so I can take this out. And then I have a smaller pouch for, this was, more, was my vlogging gear. But this can fit in here, and then I could have this in there and that's it that was it all set and it was about eight kilograms a bit more but no problem taking it to a thin air airplane and one thing that i did not mention yet is is what i had was the nar box which i made the backups to the images gear 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 it does matter all you talk about is gear come on get to the point Ah, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're being, yeah, yeah, you're trying to be funny. But let me explain a bit more. Too many times I have heard that somebody is uh, complaining that I can't photograph this and that because I don't have the gear. And I think that's a bit uh, wrong approach to photography. If you start only thinking about the images that you miss, then of course, yeah, you will miss a lot of images. But what you should do is to start to see the possibilities, what you can do with your gear. You need to shift your mind from the gear to the photography and the photographs itself. And that will open up a whole new world for you. I guarantee. But it's not easy. It's really not easy because it happens to me sometimes that I, I wish I had this and that. But if you don't have something, then you need to start thinking more and then you start uh, kind of like, re uh, how do you say, to uh, solve the problems that you might have or might occur when you're making those images. And that will open up, as I said, a whole new world and 
you will improve in your photography if you shift your mind. Okay, now I see what you mean. But how, how easy is it to shift your mind? Well, it's not easy. I admit that. But one thing you could do is to start using only one lens for a while. If it's a prime, I think it's a bit better. That will kind of narrow down your options and you need to start thinking more and you might start also seeing new things. Yes, you will miss a few shots for sure. That's, that's, I'm not arguing against that. But you will start to see things a bit differently. And that is something that might, and not, or not only might, but it will make your uh, uh, photography better because you start thinking more. Then you start seeing opportunities that you maybe have missed because we always think that a Wide angle is for landscape, standard lenses maybe for street photography and long, lens, long lenses are for, for um, let's say that they are for, for, for bird photography. And, but when you narrow yourself down to a one lens, you start seeing the opportunities that you can do different things with one focal length that you thought that you could not do. It takes time, but I sincerely recommend you to do that. Okay, sounds fair, sounds good. Anything else? When you start narrowing down your equipment or the equipment that you use, you will start to think differently and that will improve your photography. It's not easy, but when you start doing it and really concentrating and trying, you will get better. You will find new things and that will improve your photography. Okay, now I see what you mean. Does that apply to the bird photography that you did from the hide? Yeah, I admit, to some extent, it's all about the gear in that genre. No Sherlock. Then also the gear is not everything that matters. I was in that height for the first time or in any height in that matter for the first time photographing birds and it was totally a new thing and I don't know anything about birds and that was the biggest lesson I learned which kind of like makes sense and is the real thing that actually should have been in my mind in the first place, that the most important thing is not the gear that I had, but the most important thing was to know the birds. And that was something that Yari taught me, because he was whispering me some advice that now this is going to happen in a, in a few seconds. And most things that he said did happen. And that made it a lot, lot easier to grab those images, because I thought I got some pretty good images for a first timer. And that is something that you should understand is that knowing your subject and knowing the all the things that go around your subject and what makes it behave different ways and and you know it, it, this is also also with portraits you should know the person or trying to know the person and and how to handle your model to uh, get the best shot it's not about having the shallow depth of field because photography is not depth of field it's about the depth of feeling as a photographer called peter adams a great first name by the way said once and i think that sentence and quote has a lot of wisdom in it try to remember that what about the gear could i could i have taken those images with something else than i had and some of them yes i would have missed some of the images but i probably would have gotten or gotten a couple of pretty good images just because from the the advice that Yari gave me and that was the things that what is going to happen then you could realize okay the bird is most likely going to fly that way because of the direction of the wind and then you could pre-focus with manual focusing and then grab the shot when it is in the place that you focused and that could have been done with let's say the 12 to 200 millimeter lens that is not a optimal lens for bird photography but it could have worked with the manual focus so I bet I could have gotten some decent images with any gear except not, not wide angle but with a longer lens and it doesn't have to be the most expensive Olympus long telephoto lens it could have been one of those travel zooms which are a lot less expensive so it's not having the best gear it's about knowing your subject so is that it the answer is yes and no and it depends. Well, pretty much so. But there is one thing. It's also to know your gear. What are the limitations and how to use your gear to get the best result? And as I was referring to the manual focus thing, 
that's one thing. Is there a possibility if you have a slow uh, autofocus on your lens? Those travel lenses, they aren't the fastest in AF compared to the pro lenses. But then you could start thinking that could I pre-focus using the manual focus? So learning how the manual focus works with the focus peaking, magnification and all that stuff is important. So knowing your gear helps you to get those great images that you want. So what it means, know your gear and know what it is capable of. So basically what you mean is that do not buy anything that you don't need. Well, isn't that the same thing you say almost on every video when you talk about gear or photography in that matter? Yes, I do say that a lot. And uh, what I mean is concentrate on getting the best out of your gear that you have. That way you will see more opportunities then you will see what you are going to miss. So it's a, it's a kind of like a mind shift. You need to shift your mind towards the things that you can grab with or can photograph with your, with your existing gear. And it's all about, you know, thinking the positive. I would say that, think positive and not the negative, which means that, okay, I have this, I couldn't get the image of that. Don't worry, you will get other images and you will learn on the way. Hey Peter, what are the videos that the viewers should look next? I would say it would be the playlist about photography tutorials. Well, that's an excellent choice. I know, I know, because the first video in that uh, photography tutorials playlist is the bird photography video that I have uh, talked about. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.